it's me and today we're checking out some very creative people part one of making Freddy glam rock wait how do you make Freddy do you see that they programmed some eyes hey those are creepy whoa it's like a real animatronic make the snout the skull with the snout put some ears on it the ears move the eyes move around hey yo this is creepy when y'all said you were making Freddy I didn't think you were actually <laughs> making Freddy like making the animatronic crazy this dude, somebody asked him to make the rock out of a sheet of paper. It took over eight hours of cutting and cutting and cutting and it just looks like a crumpled piece of paper. Where is he going with this? Wait a second, when he uncrumples it, the final product is actually the rock. I'm not like rocking the paper with them scissors. It's about drivers for power. They made a COVID? No way! You can't do that. You can't just make it, put it in a creative people video. It's not very creative of you. It's just a prop. It's a little bottle. Ooh, so satisfying. Peeled COVID out of it. And then wait, they peeled off the red. Oh, it's not supposed to have that? Put some black liquid in. And then the little 3D printed virus. Oh, that's actually really cool. Put it in like a biohazard thing. Giving Resident Evil vibes. Don't let the Karens see this. They're gonna think it's real. I wonder how many people reported this account like, oh, no, this is the guy making COVID. You know, just in case you need the COVID prop for your COVID cosplay. They made a mold into some foam, poured some metal out of it, took it out. What is that, a torture device? A handheld spike maker, or perhaps a shallow stabber, or perhaps a hairbrush. Hairbrush. I feel like I could whistle the end of that. Are you sick and tired of taking your hat off and putting it back on? Cause same, they actually found a solution. And by they, I mean the experts. Just turn your hair into a hat. You ain't never have to take it off. What if it's nighttime and you need a little more visibility? It's like bangs you can't get rid of. Bangs you can't put to the side. I wonder if this is how ducks feel. Having such an obstruction in the middle of their face. I have not watched Encanto yet, but she's gonna do one of the characters and like her cakes are insane Look at the detail on the dress. That is a whole Disney character right there, but edible. You could eat her. That's big too That's pretty good. She took this insane photo. I'm looking at this like how how is this possible? I'm pretty sure you don't have spidey senses or sticky paws. How you stick into this building? She's standing on a stool. So they do one position edit the position. Oh, and then don't forget about the reflection You know gotta make this convincing. Oh Okay, so that's how they do it. It's not that you can't climb buildings. You just can't Photoshop when your friend says, bring something to the party. Wait, wait a second. Those are pretzels dipped into chocolate and sprinkles. Ew, and they look so gross. They look like cigarettes. That's an ashtray. Ashtray made of sprinkles. Oh, I feel so filthy eating this. Chocolate covered pretzel is a chocolate covered pretzel. So they're doing this really cool video trick where they cut an apple in half at an angle. And then all you gotta do is have your friend pull the apple. So it looks like she's just slicing it at the speed of light. Wait, it's not working. Oh, whoa. All right, that was actually really cool. Makes you look way cooler than you actually are. I thought this was cardboard. And he's sliding it down there. It's like, ooh, what you doing? Art project? Picasso, I like it. But no, it's actually edible. And then put it around this and then made the spiral cake. And then give it a little spin. Whoa. Put some colors in it, make a DNA cake. There's this grocery store that is all felt. And I'm like, wait, like plushies? All the produce. Hey, $40 for a carrot. That is robbery. Costs more than a real carrot. Oh, but it has a smiley face worth. The Duracell batteries, Windex, a chimkin. Oh my goodness. The sushi. They really said everything. The whole grocery store made out of felt. I can't believe it. Like everything on this shelf is a plush of the actual food. It's like I'm in an alternate universe. I can't believe the sushi. That is so insane. Insanely cute, but sixty dollar. Woo! It would be a very expensive prank to replace all the real food in your fridge with felt food. <laughs> Thought I had seen it all. But have you seen somebody make coffee with their nails? Put a strainer and then cover it up. Let the nails steep. You know that's not all coffee in there. Take a look at the inside of your fingernails. Would you like that in your drink? Yeah, I didn't think so. 
He made see-through potato chips. And I'm like, there is no way. Impossible. How could they look like that? That looked like a piece of plastic. You telling me it's gonna taste like a chip. And then he dropped the recipe. So you actually use potatoes, but how do you make them invisible? Take them to Hogwarts. No, he uses the potato water. The water that he boiled the potatoes in. And then, you know, let's get rid of the potatoes. And then let's make this out of potato starch and potato water. 2022, no flying cars, but we have invisible potato chips. All right, cool. They are making this super cool resin art where it looks like the fish are in a bucket of water. And to add dimension, you basically paint several different layers of fish and then pour resin in between each one. Oh, this is gonna come out so cool. And then the finished product looks like a bucket of fish. And if you spit it around, it'll look like they're swimming. i would be so angry poking this and realizing I can't just touch fish. They took a plain shirt, and you could get these super cheap at craft stores, at Walmart, and then the embroidered letters that you iron on. Oh, they make it a fake Nike shirt. And then all you gotta do is iron them on. Whoa. Hey, on Etsy, they be selling these for like $60. You telling me it's that easy. We could have been doing this ourselves. Okay, but bet, walk into any craft store right now, all the N-I-K-E's gonna be sold out. You can even make a Gucci one. In the last Creative People video, I showed one of these of knitting the noodles, but updates and says, look how long they made it. It's so long now. You can wrap it around your neck, make a little noodle necklace. I invented an oil paint that glows in the dark. Well, that's a flex. How do you invent a glow in the dark paint? Okay, turn off the lights. Whoa, the pink turns to green. Did you pour glow in the dark juice on the paint or did you invert the colors? Not sure, but very cool. This is the fanciest tea maker I have ever seen. And then when it's ready, the tea is blue. So I believe this is butterfly pea tea. And then when you put lemon in it, it actually turns purple. This tea is just a big fat win. It looks pretty, it's good for you, and it tastes good. All right, these paintings are getting way too detailed. Woo! The little hairs on the side, goodness gracious. That brush is thinner than my patience. I cannot believe the absolute detail that goes into this. It's like going pixel by pixel in real life. This dude made a moving dress like it has pieces on it that are programmed to flap the feathers up and down. Whoa. And it's just like, yes! Material girl! Ma'am, did your dress just move? They're doing a photo shoot halfway in the water. The photo ends up like this. <laughs> I don't know what it is about my For You page. Maybe I watched like one or two many of these videos. I get so much egg art on my For You page. And like live streams of people like peeling an egg. Like they peel the shell but it stays an egg. It's weird, you gotta see it. This one, they made the most intricate egg details. And you're telling me there's still a yolk in there? Like what if you hold it a little too hard and you crack it? She put it in dye, dyed the egg. Oh, okay, this is when the yolk comes out. Oh, this has gotta be the hardest part. Literally make a hole. That hole ain't big enough for the yolk. Oh, this is why you gotta literally syringe it out. And then after, put some water in it, clean it. And then the finished product. Oh, it's beautiful, but also so fragile. All it takes is holding it a little too hard and it just snaps. TikTok has caused me major trust issues. I can't tell what's real food anymore. What's a wax melt? What's a candle? What's slime? They all look the same. These lattes are candles. And the only reason I know it's candles is because they got the string that they're cutting out of it. Otherwise, I would've picked that bad boy up and took a sip. This dude turned himself into the Beast Titan. Oh, he drew on the abs and everything, the side abs, the little boob poking out. Ew. Ah! Why his arms so long? Why he built like that? Ah, the perfect target for Levi to just come up behind him and just like a sitting monkey. Yassifying Miss Onion. Y'all really put foundation on an onion? Glammed her up. Bro, it's an onion. <laughs> I don't care how much makeup you put on it, she's still stinky and gonna make me cry on the inside. Not only are they gonna match the color of the plate, they're gonna make that little paper completely disappear. It's crazy to me how they didn't just take like white and black and mix them together and make gray. Nah, got a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of blue, and with that, we're gonna make gray. Whenever I mix all the colors together, I get doo-doo brown. Okay, it's starting to disappear. You gotta wait for it. Oh, even the corners. You really wanna get rid of it. We're gonna make this disappear. Wait, it's not even done. You know, the little shiny part, and then remove the plate. The painting's still there. There and gotta blend right in. 
A lot of people think I'm extra for having the Starbucks menu on my wall. So I also got the holiday one. Do you just like take that? Free wallpaper? Starbucks always be switching out their menus. It's like when they don't have a seasonal drink anymore, can you just be like, hey, let me get that praline poster. I guess I just give it to you. There's this art illusion at a museum. It looks like there are rooms, but wait, it's poking out of the wall. It's like a pyramid. You see that? We can all agree. It's like a pyramid poking out of the wall. But depending on how you look at it, you see now, it looks like a hallway, like it's going in. But in reality, it's going out. Just like what your parents think when you sneak out. Then took George Washington, painted over his face, and drew a squid game guard over George Washington. Hey, they taking over the currency. So I just found out that this is actually illegal. Technically, you're not allowed to draw on money. What are they gonna do, arrest me? Hello friends, it's me, and today is a lovely day to check out some creative things that people have done. So this is how they made an Among Us card. So these are all the pieces to it. Pop the little crewmate on a black card, and then cut it, and then, oh, you have the base of the card. And then you have the bottom half, and then you have the piece of meat. It's a sticker, and then cut it. Whoa. It's so insanely cute. I would freak out if somebody gave me this for my birthday. <laughs> They took a coin and they just sliced right through it. Goodbye, five. And I thought they were gonna make a necklace out of it, like one of those trendy coin necklaces, but no, they're making a ring out of it. And look at this, the way they just carved it, filed it down like it's some acrylic nails, polished it to absolute shine. Wow, we broke a Coke bottle for this? They're making a fake diamond out of glass from a broken Coke bottle. No way that can be the same thing. That ain't the same thing. That diamond is a paid actor. I cannot believe this tomfoolery right now that I am witnessing. They made that out of a coin and a Coke bottle? Uh, I'm a little sus. I love art TikTok. And then I came across this, where they're just painting, right? And it looked a little messy on the back. And then they flip it over and then, wha-bam! It looks like it's printed. Whoa! This is so insanely cool. <sighs> I want one of these. Where can I buy one of these? And it's like painted on glass. I think this works like pancake art. Like you do certain layers first and then fill them in. And then, oh, it makes sense in my head. But if you know how pancake art works, it's kind of like this. Speaking of pancake art, you see, you do the darkest layer first, like the line layer. And then you see how they did that? And then you flip it over and it's a bootleg emoji. But I believe it's the same concept. We make a Mr. Bean out of a bean. It's clay. It's not actually a bean, it's clay. Oh, where he painted the eyes. No, sir. Literally came to life. I thought he put a towel on his head. <laughs> like when TikTok boys pretend to be girls. Oh, and the body. Whoa. Oh, no, he's naked. Oh, no, not the butt. You gonna do the front too? No, I didn't think so. Was the crack necessary? And then this, whoa, it's crazy how it just like wraps on it. Pop that head on, whoa. Now bake him, preserve him for eternity. My dude got more skill in his pinky nail than I do in my whole entire hand. The way he molded those eye hollows was just like, skirt, skirt. Yes, ma'am. You guys know what to do, right? No, I don't. Is that the vegan teacher? They make it, oh it is! They make it her on an egg! Oh, y'all were carving an egg that still had the yolk in it. Oh, you ballsy, you ballsy. Oh, they just sucked it on out. And then made a night light! <laughs> okay, do me next. I don't even know. You could carve an eggshell with that much detail. If you guys don't know the vegan teacher, all she does is like make ukulele songs about why you shouldn't eat McDonald's and why you shouldn't eat ice cream. So carving her on an egg and make it a night light, the absolute most respectful disrespect. I respect that. We made a mold of us holding toes. So, you see, these two best friends, they just like, went like that, but with their toes. Catch me on my next day off. I'm trying to do this with my friends. After they did the first step, they filled it up, and lo and behold, the mold. Some quality dining table decor. Just their feet intertwined. Bro, how do you even do that? Y'all gotta have long toes for that. Oh, wait, I have long toes. It'll probably work. Y'all remember Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh? Upgrade. Well, this is him now. They painted Kaiba's head on the PS4. Oh, it's perfect because it's like the PS4 literally built like him. Like his vest and how it's pointy. Uh, that's actually pretty cool. <gasps> how do they do that? They made Kiwis into Mike Wazowski Kiwi. And they're all different expressions, bro. This is so cool. Is that a chocolate chip as the eye? This is blowing my mind right now. They look so juicy. I just want to... <laughs> Devour. Absolutely delicious. 
I had no idea. The plastic part of the controller just like pops off, just like that. I mean, how else will they make custom controllers? But anyways, they drew on it and then hand painted it. And then you got this sick design. Spray it and then pop it back on. Wow, pretty cool. I spent 102 hours making the sculpture. It's like a mighty fine piece of meat. Steak? We making a steak? A fake one? I mean, they actually baked it for real. Does that make it a real steak? No. Just because you bake it doesn't mean you can't eat it. Oh, and the plate. The plate is also a paid actor. Oh, so the whole meal. Steak, baked potato, plate. It's all fake. It's clay. Is this how they make those fake food props? Looking like an Outback Steakhouse commercial. On TikTok, I found this water droplet art and it's super cool, but also super simple and anybody can do it. So you just take water droplets, so you kind of have to let it drop on the paper gently. You must be very gentle. And then keep the paint pretty thin and then drop the color. And then the water droplets are just like, they suck it up, absorb the color, paint them whatever color you'd like. Oh, they're so satisfying. I just want to like ruin them. What happens when it dries? There's no way to preserve them like this. Will they ever dry? They kind of look like Skittles. I could just like slide them right off the page. But what's the point if you can't eat them? So they built a mini house. But look at it. Ain't, ain't nothing mini about this house. It's even got spiral stairs, a front porch. And then when you go inside, look, this does not look like a mini house. It has a whole entire kitchen. What, half this house a kitchen? Or half this kitchen a house? Oh, you got a little dining room. You got the bedroom upstairs. Bro, how does it look so tiny on the outside? And then you have all of this. You even have an upstairs. Stairs. This is insane. Look how little it looks. It's so little. Can Home Depot start like selling these? I'm buying for my dogs. You know where they would go? Under the house. They would literally sit under the house. Printed. Nice printer. It's not a drawing. Hold on. So you see when I was four, five, six. This is how I would draw. Dang, you draw like that at seven years old? Hey, she's really good. At eight, 10, 11, age 13, you be drawing like that? Whoa, I wonder how old they are now. What, how you go from 14 to 15 and now it's like, bam. It's like puberty also hit your art. It just glowed up in such a way. Whoa, that Nutella be looking. Oh, forget the Nutella, the balloons. The balloons! You told me that's not printed? Oh, the humongous piece of meat. Oh, it's glorious, Mwah. beautiful. It's crazy how drawing skills can just like level up over the years. That didn't happen to me and I was drawing my whole life. Some people got it, some people don't. So they take a bottle, cut it open. Are we making bottle spaghetti? Nope, perhaps a little sleeve. A pouch, I think they're making a pouch. Wow, so it's a little pouch. Pop your charger through it and then it holds your phone. So if you only have those chargers that are like high up, with no place to put your phone, not gonna lie, it's pretty genius. That's a really good idea. And it's so simple and you could probably do it with like any plastic bottle. You know, it's always risky business. Making some sand art. My dude didn't want to make a castle. He made a whole entire alligator. Droppings and all. Is, is that the poo poo? Did it do poo poo? You know, all it takes is just one wave. So you really took up half the beach for this. I'm surprised Karen didn't like walk on it and sit on it. Oh, look, the perfect spot. <gasps> Oh, so satisfying. You see the way that they just like took the clay and just smoosh. Big fat boosh. Oh, that was nice. Looking like a SpongeBob clam. Oh, they're making a living room out of this. Oh, the rug. And then the little couches. Oh, I cannot handle this level of cute. I have a mighty urge to just squish it. Okay, now that's more my kind of sandwich. <laughs> a slap booty sandwich. When you put the mustard size, it just like make a smack on the bologna booty. I ain't eating the crack though. This is how to make a lava lamp. Vegetable oil, pour it in a vase, vase, however you want to say it. Add some water, add some food coloring. Is that it? it is really that simple? Are you gonna mix it or not? Oh, Alka-Seltzer. That'll make it fizzy. Watch the magic. Whoa! Like a red blood cell explosion. I've seen other ones like this where they take a light and then they put it on the bottom of it so it like actually like lights up. I didn't know it was this simple though. My dude's like, come, 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 come into my cave. Is this a tree? This ain't from BC. He just carved the whole entirety of the inside of the tree. This ain't no caveman's doing. It's literally the inside of a tree. Y'all went to town on it. Carved it like a holiday ham. They took a tree. We make a tree art today. Straight out of wood. Oh, the inside of it is red. So they're filing it down. Oh, and then the lacquer. And then that's how they make those really shiny high gloss tables. So it all started as 
a tree. Super thick trunk. I've seen these tables and how much they cost. So that'll be $10,000, please. This is another tree trunk art. So after they've carved everything, they dumped all the dust. And then you got this. They hand carved the dragon. Wow. The Shimada brothers could never. Hello friends, it's me. And today we're gonna be checking out some very creative people. This dude made art upon his pajama pants. You know those blankets that you could like draw on? He got pants made of that material. I didn't realize you could draw like a detailed masterpiece on them. Oh no, what are you doing? The Mona Lisa erased just like that. Investors lining up to buy that piece of art. Sorry, fellas. Do the Colossal Titan out of a watermelon? How you make Titan out of melon? Oh, they drew it on. Oh, that's a little carver. They carved a melon to look like the Colossal Titan? No way. Add some more detail. You know, it really brings out the red. Oh, the teeth. Whoa. It's starting to look so realistic. Hey, they did that out of a watermelon? Shaved a watermelon down. And you got this. Terrifying, but also very impressive. Now cut him in half. I have never seen somebody dye their hair like this, right? She just took a brush, started painting the ends, and you have to trust the process. It came out so good. Oh, and I tell you, my jaw is just like, <gasps> just the ends are red. And like the way she curled it, everything about this is just gorgeous. Somebody stitch this and just show me what your cool thing is. This is my infinity table. Couldn't find what I wanted, so I made it up. What's an infinity table? Wait, why is there stairs in your table? They go down to the basement? Is that where you put naughty guests? Wait, you're telling me this is a table. Like, it's a coffee table. But when you turn off the lights and look down, it looks like it goes on forever. How? How do you even make this? I mean, what a cool idea though. Like, I want my table to look like it's going on forever. Looks like a whole nother world inside the table. That is so trippy though. Like, I can't believe this is a table on a rug. And like, you look down in it and it looks like there is a secret hidden room inside. Like, what? This is the coolest lighter I have ever seen. It's dice that light up, but also look at the flame. How the flame gets so long. It's longer than the lighter itself and it keeps getting longer. I don't know which I want more, the nails or the lighter, but both are sick. Over the last few years, I have been working on a ghost band light painting series. What? Here are my eight favorites. Whoa! I'm like, wait, what is a ghost band painting? I didn't even know this was a thing. You can paint with light? And then what, make a video out of it or like pictures? But look at that, he drew a ghost band out of light. How do we even do that? Just like in a dark room, turn a flashlight on and just Those actually look sick. Gru, I'm leaving you and taking the kids. Oh no, poor Gru. What? Are those minions? We got two sleeping with him, one on each side. We got one rubbing his feet. You know, with all your artistic talent, you decide to draw this. Might as well start drawing furries and start cashing in since you clearly have no shame. Sorry if this ruins your childhood. They make wax melts that look just like food. And it is scary how much they look like food. And they smell good. Say less. Take it out of the jar and just start munching. They don't taste very good though. Fruit Loops? And you just pick up like a handful and then just melt them? These are way too cute. I would never want to melt these. You even got s'mores. You told me I can't actually eat these. No, only smell. Less calories. A box of chocolate chip cookies. Okay, those actually look more like wax melts. But the s'mores, so cute. They drew a scene from Dragon Ball Z and then animated it. Animated, it's not actually animated, but it's just different pictures laid out. Hey, you gotta speed it up. You gotta do it faster. Yeah, see, that looks better. Majin Buu fell on his Majin booty. So it's not an animation, but they just drew every single frame and then moved their phone through it. That is cool. It's like a diorama for a Dragon Ball Z fight. Why do you always have color on your hand? Oh, this is the guy that does the hair. Look, it's not just hair. It's literally art, like straight out of a fairy tale. It's fairy hair. Christmas wreath. What, in Whoville? Oh my goodness, all of these are so gorgeous. I don't even know how you do that. Okay, but imagine like untangling this. Like what, you just take a brush and let it rip? 
Hi Sandy, could I take you out tonight? Hi Pat, probably not. How come? I like guys like Larry. Oh, I'll show them. <gasps> Patrick starts working out. He starts hitting the gym. Pat, Miss Cheeks. No one calls me chubby. Patrick with a transformation. Dang, he really showed her. This guy makes the most insane chocolate sculptures on TikTok. I already know he's making a squid. That looked like a squid. The little pointy hat gave it away. Whoa! Not the squid dussy. He's putting chocolate in the hole. Chocolate chips. I ain't never seen somebody make chocolate chips like that. And then spray the whole thing orange. And everything here is edible. You can eat all of this. And anchor. I gotta be some billionaire ordered this for their birthday party. Oh. Whoa, that is how you make a chocolate change. Take all the pieces. There is so much work that goes into making these sculptures. And they are 100% made out of chocolate. This dude really can make anything out of chocolate. Okay, but think about how cold that room has got to be. So everything doesn't melt. Oh, Foggy. <gasps> Wait, Foggy was cake? Nah, I can't trust nobody anymore. I thought Foggy was Foggy. Foggy was a cake. Edible Foggy. Onion. Gotta be an onion. No, it's like I'm wrong every single time. That is an onion shell. They used an onion shell and put an imposter onion inside. Bag of coffee? No. Cake. But it's coffee beans on top, right? You use real coffee beans. Can of Coke. With Mentos. That's real convincing. That's probably the most realistic one I've seen. The eggs, cake. The carton, cake. Ah! The hands cutting the knife, cake. The person with the hand holding the knife, also cake. We live in a Pillsbury world. Toilet paper? No. No, not for wiping, for eating. Mmm, juicy pickle. Chocolate flavored, actually. A big sushi roll. That already looks suspicious to begin with. Even the pineapple! Okay, that looks like a pineapple. That's a real pineapple. Y'all switched it out last second. No, they didn't. But it looked like they did. This is way too convincing. Like, the outside looks like a real pineapple. You cannot convince me otherwise. If you offered me a million dollars to correctly guess if this was a cake or a pineapple, I would have said that was a pineapple and lost a million dollars. Even the Game Boy. Slice it open. Let me see the flavor. I can't trust nobody and nothing anymore. People are getting so good at making cakes that look like realistic objects that they made a show on Netflix. Having people guess if it's cake or if it's real. Like at first that sounds so easy, but like let's try one. They have four vintage sewing machines and one of them is cake. Oh, they have to stand far away from it. That one's cake, that one's cake. No, no, two is not cake. Uh-uh, let me see the other one. That one's a sewing machine, that's not cake. Uh, that one, it's that one, it's that one. That one's cake, four, four is cake. I will not fall for this anymore. But one also looks like cake. I'm gonna say it's four. Which one is cake? I think it's four. There is no way this could be that hard. You already won $15,000 in the competition. $15,000 to guess if it's cake or not? What the frick? I have not watched this show, but you throwing around big numbers for things I do on the daily. I feel like I would be so good at this. Cut it open, let's see. Number four, what flavor is it? Come on. Oh, that one's not cake. Number one. Oh, it's a s'mores cake too. Wait, so I got it wrong? Uh, I thought I was gonna be a lot better at this, but guess not. If you guys want a whole video of me guessing cake or not to see if I would actually win money on this Netflix show, smash that like button. Cause now I'm curious. In real life, I'm face to face with a cake. Mark my words, I will know which is cake. Y'all can't make a cake that convincing. These look like they're stairs leading into the sky, right? It's a sculpture. Wait, they turn to the side. It's no longer stairs. Wait a second. They're not even like angled. They're not even stairs. It just looks like a ladder. You can't even climb it. No, it's just a rod. Okay, that's kind of trippy. And it all depends on the perspective, how you see things. You see it from one way, it looks like a rod. And then it's like, whoa, stairs leading into the heavens. Lies. You know cars that have a little stripe detailing? Is this guy. This guy does it by hand. Look how much paint he loaded up on that one little paintbrush. Slide his finger down. Oh man, he made it to the end. He made it and it's perfect. You only have one try. Like what if you mess up? Oh, he's gonna do it again. Right over? Oh no, it's right under. This gotta be even harder. I feel like I gotta hold my breath during this whole thing just in case he messes up. Bro, I could barely freehand the circle. And we got this dude with the most steady hand. This is the most steady hand I have ever seen. You know, I thought it was like a little sticker that they put on, but we got this dude. Hand detailing all these cars and car companies will be like, that'll be $500 for the stripe. There's this little device that you can get to try on Barbie outfits with fabric. Um, excuse me, where was this when I was a child? And then you pop on the shoes? You wouldn't even have to buy 
clothes for the Barbie. Just fabric scraps, lay them on to see how it looks like. This would be so fun. You know, even as an adult, this would be fun to see what kind of clothes go with each other. I don't trust her. I don't trust her. Everything in this room might as well be made out of cake. I've seen your face. See what I tell you. Ah! The hand! The hand! She sliced away her whole hand. What the frick? When I said everything in the room is cake, everything is cake. The cushion, the couch, the whole hand, also cake. She always has to do me a bamboozle. You know, in case you weren't surprised by the cushion or the chair being edible, I had to cut my entire hand to show you that that was also cake. Y'all taking this too far. They got custom slippers made to look exactly like their dog. This is so cute. And they even have the markings. But also this would scare me. Like I would look down and think my dog is right there, but it's, it's just my slipper. Also, I think my dogs would attack the slippers thinking it's another dog. <laughs> She set up her camera and started taking pictures, but you gotta trust the process because it's like, what is going on? What is she taking pictures of? And then puts it in Photoshop, starts editing, and then has that photo. Take the other one, put it on. Oh, wait, this looks like a professional album cover. She just did that in her room? I gotta stop making excuses for not having good photos when you could literally just do these things in your room. Like she took a bunch of photos, basically combined them into one, edited them, and well, bam, beats a selfie, I guess. And what's this? This is a um, Louis Vuitton duffel bag. Did I turn it? And he made it into a jacket. Bag on the back that work. Fully functional. And looks great too. The handles look a little goofy, but that's pretty good. Took an old Louis Vuitton duffel bag and made it into a leather jacket. Now all you have to do is tuck your knees into it and zip it up and somebody can carry you. Might make you easy to kidnap though. Hello friends, it's me. Today we are checking out some creative people on the internet. Oh, that is some creamy paint. Look, like they painted with some yogurt. Oh, that looks good. They start off with some chunky white paint. Oh, and just like smear it on. Okay, the only downside of this is it's gonna take probably months to dry. Girl, that painting is thick, literally. I'll just stick my finger in it. Ruin it. This is such a cool cake. It's literally cake wrapped in gelatin and flowers. Okay, cut it. I want to see what's inside. Don't cut it. No way. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, that kid ain't so having beautiful. it. It's beautiful. It is too beautiful, but all beauty must come to an end. Like, I want to eat it. I ain't never seen a slice of cake that long. Oh, with the long cakes, I guess you cut it in half. Interesting. I thought it was going to be pink for some reason. You know, y'all could have made the frosting pink. I'm with the kid on this one. It's too beautiful to cut. So do you eat the gelatin or is it just like for decoration? Because there's like real dried up flowers in there. I feel like it's not going to taste good. Chicken nuggies and some ketchup. Don't tell me it's slime. It's a wax melt. You know, I never know anymore. Is it cake? Is it slime? Is it paint? But now we got a new op. Wax melt? You know, to be fair, the ketchup kind of gave it away. But the McNugget. It make your house smell like a McNugget? Interesting. Oh no, they are skinning the watermelon. Please have mercy. Oh, that is the most gorgeous watermelon I've ever seen. It looks so juicy. Wow. I do like my watermelon boneless without the wrapper, please. Telling my friends to draw me a hairstyle. She did it! She took this scribble and made it into a real hairstyle? There is no way. I don't know how you control your hair like that. She wake up in the morning, her hair does itself. She took this old canvas painting, painted it all black, took some fabric, tied it around the canvas, started cutting it up, and oh. Wow. I don't know about black unless you're hanging it up in like an all black room. This and another color would go hard. I mean, it's way better than these photo printed canvases. Definitely a glow up. They hooked a Buzz Lightyear and Woody on their car. Oh, it just like clips into place and it stays on the car like that? Woody's gonna be fighting for his life when I get on the freeway. I don't think Buzz can hold on no more. Also, this is very cool, but somebody's probably gonna steal it. That's the society we live in. This is why we can't have nice things. Why are you eating over the painting? Oh, it was all part of their plan. They're going to draw with noodle water. Okay, this is something I have not seen done. <laughs> Y'all taking me creative to the next level. Okay, it's cool, but I know it's gonna stink. I have never seen somebody draw with spicy noodles and a fork. I didn't even realize they were using a fork. That kind of goes hard. You know, you can eat your food and draw with it too. 
She does the craziest nails on TikTok. These gotta be the craziest ones I've seen. And I've seen a lot. Literally like 20 nails of acrylic. All these colors just stacked on top of each other. It's gonna be like a jawbreaker. Now cut it. Whoa. You see the inside of it? Oh, it's a heart too. This is so cool. Man, I would've just left it a big old jawbreaker upon my thumb. But she actually filed it down and made like a legitimate design out of it. Okay, but imagine resisting the urge to bite this. Just one bite and you ain't gonna have front teeth anymore. Bro's laying down all comfy. You know, I don't wanna use my other hand. So we're gonna scroll with this. Oh, he even liked the video. A double blow to like. I can't believe this is actually working. Somehow I feel like this is way more effort than a finger. You can use a train ticket, not only for travel, but also to get a nice and smooth smile. Look at that. What do you mean? You mean you can use a piece of paper for a smile? What do you mean? Oh wow, it actually looks really good on him. Nah, somehow I do not think this is gonna work for everybody. But for him, you can't even tell. He got some pearly whites. I feel like it takes another level of bored to figure this out. I bro shoved the train ticket in his mouth and ended up looking like this. I do that, I'm gonna look like a tweaker eating paper. This dude took some mesh and an egg carton. Oh, this is some fancy art. Put some chains on it. Art installation. Oh, it looks like he's putting his cheek up to smile. Is this how you smile? Am I doing it right? I feel like this is some really expensive art. Like, that belongs in a museum. Imagine refilling your water bottle at 3 a.m. Walk into the living room, you see this staring at you? I don't want anything human-shaped in my house. This pizza place is so creative that they made the menu literal pictures of every pizza. Words, it just don't do it for me. I wanna see what I'm gonna be ordering. And like with this, you can see what every pizza looks like. Oh, that one got leaves on it and tomatoes? No, I ain't want no salad pizza. Let me get that quattro formaggi. I love me a mushroom pizza. Oh, it's a laptop case, but it's like knitted and you could just like fold it and then it turns into a bag Bro, this is actually genius and it's adorable. That is so cute. Oh, you can even get one for your iPad, too Got a little handle. Oh, I love that. I just be shoving my laptop in a backpack. This is so much cuter She braided an entire swing set with a little woman swinging on it like you want braids. Okay, I got you I'm trying to figure out how she braided a swing set You know finally the little person inside my head can get out get some fresh air go to the park have a swing This is so ridiculous, but I love it. <laughs> they took a Pokemon card. How many EVs you got? Wait, each one has like parts cut out of it. Oh, this is cool. They took like several EV cards, cut out pieces of each card, stacked them on top of each other, and then you got like a 3D card. Okay, that's cool. Oh, that was actually a good idea. Take all your common duplicates, make them in a 3D diorama. Yeah. That was one of those bear honey bottles. Okay, this is getting way too realistic. It's starting to look like a photo now, but I know it's not a photo. I literally see you painting it. It's getting even more realistic. If I didn't literally watch you paint this, I would have thought it was a photo. Like zoomed out, that bottle looked a little too shiny. It still like blows my mind how people can paint more HD than my actual vision. I don't even see colors that clearly. This is nuts. I'm glad I don't do all those buff cakes anymore. Those requests were wild. Okay, well, what do we have here? Another buff cake. No, don't tell me. No, not Gru. Yeah, cut his head off. This is illegal. That's not his body. Don't let the minions see this. You know, thanks to you now, I have this unsavory image burned into my mind. I have to look at pictures of him to remind me what he really looks like. You know, he could look like that under his jacket. A bro has never done a leg day in his life. DIY floating basketball shelf. You got a blown out basketball, don't throw it away. Cut it in half. Measure it. Oh, that's pretty neat. Make a little shelf for your shoes? That is not a bad idea. I like that. I thought it was gonna be a stingray. Oh, that is some juicy ink. Oh, the way the water just makes the ink travel. It is a stingray. Is it not? Do my eyes deceive me? I cannot believe this guy. He doodled his entire life. The shirt on his back. The entire fit. His house. The whole house has 
been doodled upon. All the floor, all the walls, the pillars. Oh my goodness. He wasn't kidding. Like, how long does this possibly take? This dude has been doodling his life away. Oh, there are so many fun friends on the floor and on the walls. Oh, look. The more I look, the more interesting it gets. Oh, there are so many friends all over the place. The more you look, the more friends you make. Okay, this is like sensory overload. It's black and white, but there's like so much going on. I can't take it. He really did not leave a single spot in this house undoodled. Doodle five the whole house. When will it stop? I'm waiting for him to doodle an entire person filled with tattoos. Only then can it stop. Hello friends, it's me. Today must be your lucky day because you've unlocked your favorite French YouTuber. Today we're checking out some creative people. We've seen a lot of different kind of resin art, but I've never seen anything like this. Where they take resin, stretch it out to make the Venom symbiote, slap a warning label on the jar. Whoa. Now make it move. How do you untattoo yourself? So there's this makeup called Dermablend, and it's supposed to be so thick that it can cover tattoos. Are you seeing this? The tattoos are gone. She just untattooed herself. I cannot believe how well it worked, but isn't it like sticky? Does it rub off on things? Do you feel filthy? I need to know. Wrapping gifts as something not even remotely close. I know Christmas is over, unfortunately, but how you wrap an Amazon card and a game into a trampoline? I'm sorry, what? Imagine having to unwrap this. Like, oh, you got me a trampoline? And then as you're unwrapping it, slowly realize it's not a trampoline. This guy painted this pic, but wait, when you invert the colors, it makes it so much more magical. Like it goes from daytime to a bam, nighttime. This dude on TikTok made a Dwayne chain and Dwayne Johnson, the rock himself, duetted it. Encrusted with little Dwaymans all around the edge. And the best part is this thing spins. The unfortunate thing is it the spins? first time we printed this, it actually failed. So I added some supports with this awesome plugin on Kira. And it finished printing and looks amazing. So the next thing we need to do is paint it. First a spinning Dwayne chain. And it's all done. It looks so good. <laughs> I went with the silver on Dwayne's head so that had some contrast. But let me know what you guys think in the <laughs> comments below. Oh, you could actually wear it. I thought it was just gonna like sit on a table and spin. No. So sick. You gotta respect the drip. Give it to him, he wants it. And before we forget, let's check up on the Infinity Rocklet. The Infinity Rocks are all done, and the gauntlet itself is looking amazing. So if you want to see that, make sure you're following. Now we're making the Rock Infinity Gauntlet with the Infinity Stones as different colors of the rock. Quite fitting. So they're getting a car wrap for their Tesla, and it is the most beautiful bubblegum pink I have ever seen. It's so sparkly. And this is how they apply it. Ooh, that is smooth. It came out nice. It's just the lighting, it doesn't look like that in real life. Me convincing myself not to do my car pink. The queen of cakes is back at it again. Caught on a watermelon way, it's a little too soft. The camera is also caked. So another camera was recording the cutting of a camera cake. These videos just continue to blow my mind. And these are some of the crazy stuff that she's done in 2021. The wall, I cannot get over the wall. The lobster, ah, the hand. That one was the worst one. Give me a little scare. Want to cut cake, not good enough. Cut knife, not good enough. Cut hand, holding knife. Now that's the kind of cake I want to eat. A whole pot of spaghetti. Pot is also cake. Feels illegal. Pulling a flower power bracelet off of the mega loom. <gasps> oh, I've seen these before. So there are like kits where you can like make all these intricate bracelets by putting them on a loom. And then when you pull it out, <gasps> whoa. Y'all make it look so easy. Six year old me would have loved this. So on TikTok, I just found out about this thing called Le Petit Chef. And it is a dining experience. And I have never seen anything like that. You see everything that's going on right now. Is it a screen or is it being projected? But anyway, you have a magical show going on with all these teeny tiny chefs creating your meal and then they serve you the food in real life and you eat it like this is at a restaurant. I'm freaking out because this is like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Why don't they do this at Disney? Where I gotta go for this? Oh, it's a love story. Four years later, we got a baby. Don't tell me you're gonna eat the baby. Oh no, we have pasta on the menu. <laughs> Daddy's preparing the pasta. Don't throw the baby in it. The baby's not edible. They're getting dangerously close to the flamethrower on the food. It's making me anxious. Oh, oh. You see the way he threw the pasta and you're gonna tell me they're gonna serve that. They made that for you. Oh, I would have so much fun here. Ah, thank you, little chef. Ah, and then you have the food in real life. 
life that they just made. <laughs> I can't take this no more. There's like a whole story going on in your plate. Not the dog, you can't put. <sighs> okay, the dog is back. Anyways, at the end, for dessert, everybody gets together on the plate, looks up at you for dessert. Oh, it lights up. <gasps> what a grand old time. So she painted some like black shadows, put some tinfoil. Oh, I know where this is going. Becomes venom, attaches half the mask. Whoa. Is that part made of aluminum foil too? And you just kind of like glue it on. My nostril under the mask would be screaming for air. But it came out pretty cool. I like the tongue. <laughs> My toxic trait is that I think I can do this. Mmm, nothing but pure chocolate. This dude makes some crazy chocolate sculptures. So what are we making today? A tank? Oh. When they peeled the chocolate, made a little chocolate picket fence. Oh, they cut it off. That's not a fence, that's a tank. No, it's a robot. They're making a robot. There are so many pieces. It's edible, but it looks so sturdy. And then the edible spray paints. Yes, everything you see here, you can eat it. Except that guy, you can't eat him. That's illegal. <gasps> it's a mixing robot. Bro, I cannot believe this. This entire thing made out of chocolate. It has to be freezing in this room that he's working in for none of this to melt. Well, he just proved you can literally make anything out of chocolate. She painted a zebra on her face. Ooh! And when her mouth moves, so does the booty. Ooh! Swung that thing from side to side. Sir, <laughs> don't wink at me like that. It's so creepy, but also cheeky. Step one. Oh, I thought it was a balloon. It's a bald cap. That is a very pigmented shade of blue. Whoa. Icicles? But they're like silicone. They look spiky, but they're not. This is like an ice queen look. And then the other side, red. Pop some cotton balls. Oh, I'm like, wait, what's wrong with her eyes? The contact didn't pop into place just quite yet. And then the finished makeup look. That is incredible how people can just transform themselves like this. Y'all probably have no idea who I'm talking about. But there's a fire Digimon called Miramon. And he also has a blue version. It's like the fire and ice Miramon. Pretty neato. When I saw this, I'm like, well, where did you get those from? But no, she made them. She cut her tights, cut some holes into it, made some ties, added some pearls straight out of an anime. That is very stinking cute. That was a lot of work. I feel like I could do this in like 10 minutes or I would make one wrong cut, mess up and waste a pair of tights. When you realize it's time to go to bed. Oh, it's the dude with the, the light up wall. And you have to like touch all of them to turn them off. And when you want to turn them back on, you touch them. How cool, but also annoying. You know, sometimes you just want to press the off button and face plant into your bed. Ain't nobody got time to touch every single square to turn it off. Making car coasters. <gasps> so they are little carpets that go in the cup holders in your car, like a little rug. Oh, I didn't even know such a thing existed. Y'all do not want to see, touch, or smell the inside of my cup holders. Disco stang. This dude punched the sand in the face, right in between the eyes. I can't believe this entire sculpture is made out of sand. But like, look at the detail. The way the face smushes in when someone gets punched in a cartoon and the fist goes through the face. How long did this take? One tsunami and it's at stake. Every once in a while, I'll get this on my For You page where this dude is just stabbing aluminum and it's so satisfying. Oh, I thought he messed up for a second. He messed up. How are you gonna get yourself out of this one? Oh. No, just made the eyes bigger. So he's basically doing the emoji face. Oh, that actually came out pretty spot on. Oh, it's just so satisfying to see everything go perfectly. I thought this was a painting, right? And then she moved. And then wait, moved some more. I'm like, wait, how are you doing this? Ah, for a second, I was like, did you do your makeup to look like an oil painting? That's incredible, but it's a filter. I did not know this filter even existed. Nowadays, you can get like a custom keycap for anything. But on the escape key, had to look at my keyboard for that one. They got Thor's hammer smashing the key. Does the hammer get in the way? You gotta press like the edges of it. But when you press the escape key, you can actually hold the hammer. That's pretty cool. She got sick of one of her friends bragging about how good she is at puzzles. So for Christmas, she made her an impossible puzzle. It's 2,000 pieces made from clear acrylic. Is it even a puzzle at this point? 2,000 pieces of clear puzzle. Might as well shatter a window and try to put the pieces back together. I think that would probably be easier. This is excessive. Oh, so this is like custom custom. You design it and then you got this like fancy cutout device that just cuts each individual puzzle pieces out. Oh, and it's a small pieces too. 
I hate those. I can barely pick one of those up, let alone put it back in the puzzle. I'd like to see somebody complete this. This has got to be on impossible mode. Oh, hell no. You got two pieces together. Congratulations. Would it be a creative video without some avocado toast? But the avocado is paint. But the way it's just so thick and the exact shade of guacamole is messing with me. It is a painting of toast on a painting of a plate. You can't eat any of this. I really want to learn how to oil paint and I was looking up tutorials and then I came across this guy painting a landscape in an Altoids box. You know those like mint boxes with the tiniest little paper and all you need, four colors. So first you do something called color blocking and then you add some detail. It's beautiful. Imagine the person living inside the house peeking through their window like the dude has been standing here for an hour writing something in a box. What's going on? Karen would have called the cops. I cannot believe at the end. Look how detailed and beautiful it came out. It's like a mini photograph. My patient says no. You know, lab crafts wouldn't be possible without some good old paper. And this is how they do it. It starts out a giant spool. And this Mega Slicer 3000 is just gonna slice. Oh, so powerful. Creative ways to wake up your sibling. <laughs> you can definitely tell who the youngest child is. This is a really cool way of doing nails. So after you put the gel on, you put some plastic, move it around a little, and it'll get it real funky. But what happens when you put another layer on top? File it down, let it dry, and ooh, it looks like lava. But pointy. Will not burn, but will stab to the death. More delicious resin pouring. And they put clear. Pop the Pokemon card in there. And then when it's all done, you just pop it out of the mold. Whoa. Gengar preserved for eternity. So she's taking a drill and spooling all of the yarn through this little device thingy. And then look, look, look. This is like knitting on easy mode. Grandma hacks right here. And then when she pops it out, she just puts the pom-pom on it and then made a beanie just like that. Like, oof. she on X Games mode. We all seen paint pouring, right? This guy, however, does not use any tools. No hair dryer, no air conditioner. He's gonna blow the paint into different directions. Lungs of steel. And make this tidal wave from his last breath. Just kidding, he's still alive. With every piece of art, you get a few sprays of saliva. My DNA in my art. We got some juicy resin art for you. She's making a coral. So basically she put the resin on a piece of plastic, molded it over a cup, let it dry, and then when it's dried, ripped off the remaining plastic. And then you have like this coral looking bowl. Wow. She also made a resin hologram. You take resin and then put it in like this prism mold. It's just a transparent pyramid. Pop it over your phone. And then you got holograms. 2020, here it is. We have them now. On your phone. Oh, I remember these long skinny balloons. Glizzy. So they took some yarn and glue, wrapped it all around the balloon glizzy, made it into a shape, tied it, and then you let it dry for one to two business days, and then pop it out, and they made this little heart thing. Are oh, you gonna tell me it sticks? Put some lights into that bad boy, hot glue the two pieces together, add some flowers, hang it up, and you got this really cute wreath. So this couple saved some honeymoon sand. I didn't know this was a thing. And they were like, hey, can you make this into something cooler than sand? She was like, I got you. This looks like the slimiest glass. Oh, it's so jiggly and wiggly. Fun fact, glass is made from sand. I want to know how they resist the urge to like squeeze it. I mean, besides the common knowledge that you will burn your hand. This is truly the forbidden slime. Ah, oh, that's very cool. I've just been on jewelry TikTok lately and they'd be taking Nana's old spoons, cutting the handle off of it and making jewelry out of it. So that was the handle on the spoon. It's like mages crafting, but like in real life. <laughs> I had no idea. This is how they make rugs. This is so hecking fascinating to me, right? So they draw the design on like a tapestry that's like hung up and then they like hand fill in the colors. It's almost like a tattoo, but carpet. Take out all the little fuzzies, cut off the excess, and then the back, they put some glue to seal it. So the fuzzies, they can't go nowhere. Then when he's done, he just cuts it out. And that's how you make all those like wacky shaped rugs. I don't know, I just thought that was pretty cool. Making a 12 feet social distancing dress. 12 feet dress. Oh, this is a perfect Halloween costume or everyday outfit for when you just want people to... You can force them at least 12 feet away by wearing this. Oh, she says skirt. Not a whole moving mechanism. How many office chairs were sacrificed for this? 
Oh, she got the skirt. There we go. When I say six feet away, I mean it. A Karen could never. He cut the wire's hair. Took it all off, wrapped it around. Bro, if he wanted a squiggly wire, could have just opened up a pen, popped out the spring. Oh, we doing it the hard way. Oh, because we're making something else out of it. He's making a tree. A tree out of some dang wire hair. USB, USB, let down your hair. My fingers hurt just watching this man do this. Like twist all these little metal pieces together. My girlfriend sent me a picture of a dresser she loved. So I made it for her. Wow, big flex. Imagine saying you want something and then your boyfriend or just anybody makes it for you. That is love and commitment level 100 right there. Oh, so he made it from scratch, scratch. He even put color changing LEDs in the drawers. Is that necessary? So here's the final result. Very nice. Where's the GF's reaction? Plot twist, it was for him. Ooh, I used to make something like this. When I was a kid and I needed something to fidget with in class, I would take strips of paper. You see, it was not nearly as intricate as this. It was very similar. Yes, it's like a four type thing and then you like weave it up. Wait for it. And you keep folding them on top of each other. And basically, you see, I would do this all class. Sometimes the entire school day if I had to. And then you have this accordion slinky thing and it's really cool. It's like a stress ball, but paper and you can pull it and you can't squeeze it. And it's actually nothing like a stress ball. You know? I don't know. Y'all saw the regular resin, but can you make light up resin? They took some LEDs, popped them into this mold, poured in the blue resin solution. Gatorade looking real thick. And then when it's nice and dry, they unwrapped it, peeled the light stick. Oh, kind of looking like a lightsaber. And then you get this. Oh my God, turn it on. I want to see it. I want to see it lit. They attached it to a water faucet and then poured the remaining resin into a bowl. So it looks like it's pouring water into a bowl, but it's not water. And it's gonna light up. And then when it's done, you have this. I'm surprised the LEDs are still like functioning. Turn the lights off. Oh, it's more beautiful than I could have ever imagined. Oh, it looks so dope. Oh, it even floats. How can I get one of these? Excuse me, are you weaving metal? I can barely braid my hair. And he braiding metal. I've been seeing a lot of these jewelry TikToks. So he hammered it down, made it real small, heat it up, make it even smaller. Even smaller. Wrap it around the metal rod, slice it. Oh, it's a ring <gasps> with a matching bracelet. Wow, so that's how they do it. And you can even polish it, make it shiny. It's crazy how they do that. Like y'all taking some like metal wires and make Making jewelry out of it. I did not know it was that simple. But you see, it is not so simple. It's a long and grueling process, but they make it look so easy. My dude took a regular tree trunk. That tree trunk's still in the ground. Oh, he took it out. All right. By the time he took it out, he ended up carving all of this out of the tree trunk. Is it the winged dragon of Ra? Wow, so majestic. That bird do be looking privileged though. So this dad made a whole entire mini playhouse. You see, my dad knew how to do things like this, but chose not to do them. Now that I think about it, he never built us anything. Bro, we got insulation in here. The AC goes through that window and even a fold out bed in case you want to take a nap outside. This is going to be fancy. Some kids be growing up with this. I had a cardboard box that I drew windows in, put my head in, and then it would come out the other side, but it was fine. <laughs> Whoa, they made molds of their keyboard keys, filled it up with resin, made some little fishies in there, enslaved noodles, free him. I've freed him, but at what cost? Y'all gotta listen how satisfying this paper cutter sounds. Add the springs and made a notebook. Oh, to be this organized, can't imagine. I used to get one of those seven cent folders, shove all my papers into it. Have you guys ever seen one of these? It's like origami level 100. You could open it up multiple ways. There are so many ways to open up now. It looks like a spiky ball. And then when you're done playing with it, just say goodnight, close it, and it's a return to its original form. <laughs>